In this video, I'm going to go over how application code coverage and runtime error detection works in Parasolve JTAS. The way this feature works is that it monitors calls to the JVM. So if you have a backend server or a frontend application while it's running, so while you're using a web page or making web service calls to your particular application, JTAS will be monitoring those JVM calls. And based on that, it will tell you what part of the code got covered and if there are any runtime errors detected. So let me give you a quick example. I have an application here called Parabank and it's a simulation of a banking website. What I'm going to do is start it up using the configuration runtime error detection for Java. My particular application is running on a Tomcat server. So it's going to start it up. It will ask me which particular application I want to run. Now that I've started my application using that particular configuration, any JVM call will be monitored by JTAS. And so now what I'm going to do is open my application through my web page. I'm going to run some tests from my front end. So what I'm going to do is check out my account. I'm going to transfer some funds. So I'll transfer $200. I will click on find transactions, update contact information, and I'll request a loan. And I'll request a loan and log out. The idea here is that this functionality can be useful for both developers and testers. For a developer, you can test out your new functionality from your front end and see if that code got covered correctly. For your testers perspective, they can run through all of these tests and see if the code is being covered or not. And then you can get an idea if your web service test or your front end test are over testing the code or under testing the code. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is stop my server so now my server is stopping. Once the server is stopped, it'll give me information about what JTAS detected during the time it was monitoring it. If I go to quality tasks, you can see there are a couple of errors here that came up and you can see these are errors found during runtime. The other important piece of information that I get is code coverage. In this entire scenario, 27% of my code base got covered and you can dig deeper into particular packages and see what particular code got covered. For example, I can look into my web.form package and see that transferform.java was covered 100%. As you can see, I transferred some money. Request loan form also was covered 100%. And you can see again, the lines highlighted in green mean that it got covered. However, if I go to my web package, you can see there are a couple of places where the code was not covered. For example, if I go into other packages, you can see there are areas where loan did not get covered. And you can see because I got a positive response from my loan, I never went into this error message called error.insufficient funds. So the idea here is you can see exactly what code has gotten covered from your test. And based on that, you can determine if you need more tests or less tests. And that's application code coverage and runtime error detection in Paris of JTest.